Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to apply realistic patterns to any surface in your scene using the Corona EndMesh. Let's start by running the interactive rendering. We can see that this wall has a standard texture. If we want to add more details or a complex pattern, we can use a displacement, but that can slow down the rendering and most of the time it requires additional resources. So let's see a different option. In one of the previous tutorials, we learned how to use the Chaos Cosmos library. So Let's open it and go to the 3D model section. Here, you can find a soft menu called EndMesh Pattern. At the time of this video, we have 70 different options from roofs, railings, or wall patterns. Okay, now let's select a wall pattern. When you click on it, you will see in the thumbnails the full mesh and also the pattern, which can give you an idea of how it was created. With the wall object selected, click on the Import button. If you have not downloaded this pattern, you will see a download button instead. So click on it to download it first. And just like that, we can now see the pattern on our wall and you will notice that it's using the same material we assigned to the wall object. One of the great things about this approach is that the pattern is a modifier. So if we go to the modify panel, we can change the pattern settings. For example, by enabling use pattern material we can change the material to the pattern instead of the base object. We can also modify the size by adjusting the tiling in the UV space section. Let's try a 10 by 5 and a 2.5 by 1.5 to see the difference. Okay, now let's apply another pattern to the wall. You will notice that in the modify panel, we have now two pattern modifiers. Corona is going to render the one at the top of the list, but is also going to provide a warning about it. To fix this warning, we just need to make one of the patterns not visible or deleted. This is the basics of EndMesh and how to use the Corona Cosmos assets to quickly apply it to your scene. In a future video, I will show you how to create your own pattern and how to use all the parameters. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.